morning everybody welcome back I finally have completed this um, journal this is my design team project for Artie Mays um, the kit is the flower girls the link will be in the box below um, to Artie Mays shop where you can you can purchase the kit um, let's see this is probably it's been a long time since I've done a five signature. It's been a couple of months. Um, so yeah, I it, it just took a while. Uh, you can see it's, this one's eight and a half by six inches really. Um, and then you've got the big, almost a three inch spine. But if you don't like large journals, this is not going to be for you because this is four and a half um, on this end because it's just packed full of. Um, this is 200 pages, um, and you know I've just well, it just got bigger and bigger. And this closure is sorry silk. I want to talk about the front um, cover. Um, this is done by purchasing the Nick booksmith course so I'm sorry ladies but if you ask for specifics I can't reveal that you'll have to purchase the course just like the rest of us have had to um, I highly recommend it though it's it's been really interesting um, how her mind works is just amazing to have come up with this system for um, for creating these so I, I would highly recommend it um, this is obviously a couple of images from the kit. This flower has been gifted to me from um, Andrea's sister, Janet Hicks. She's got a channel on here, so I'm going to link her channel um, in the description box. You guys go over and check her out. She is super, super talented. And she gifted me. I had commented on Artie Mae's um, video she had showed these flowers and I've never had the time to make them but I love flowers so I when I spotted them I said oh does she sell those and she said oh I'll ask her and see and then the next thing I knew a box showed up so um, but it is beautiful and when I started working with this I still had the flowers because I keep them close by so I can look at them I, they're just gorgeous um, I spotted that one. I said, oh, that's going to really coordinate nice with that. So, although I said I was going to be so stingy with these, and I am going to be, um, this one really needed to go with this journal. So, um, let's see. What else can I tell you about this? I've got crocheted um, trim, then a doily that's been cut, some more uh, lace here, an old... Um, piece of a crocheted uh, doily, um, Janet Hicks beautiful flower, lots of stitching here, um, and then the cover itself has been hand painted and it's kind of a, um, a minty green and then I came back and aged it and then I've also put just a little bit of gold around. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera but just it's very subtle but I you know it's a bit of a fantasy um, type journal life. That was kind of the look I was going for. So let's get going because I do worry that I am going to get this in, in the amount of time I need to. Okay, here we are inside. Um, beautiful pages. Love this kit. Love it, love it, love it. Um, here I just did some stitching to make a tag and I've put several of these. This is um, something I recently purchased at one of the shops here. I don't know if they're available in the um, U.S. so I've had a couple ladies ask me about it but uh, I don't know if you could get them over there. It's a, it's a shop that's only here in the U.K. so sorry ladies. <laughs> um, but I thought that went really well with this and then just I've got some of the um, crocheted flowers throughout the journal where I could fit them. Um, here's another one. This was one of the um, embellishments I made yesterday on the 100 day challenge. 
So I put that in. This is just a little receipt that I had printed off of the um, from online. So those are tucked in there. Uh, let's see. Avocado dyed paper doily. I've got loads of tabs as you can see. And those all come in the kit, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, lots of uh, different papers. This is from a different kit of Artie Mays, but I thought it coordinated nicely. This is from the Botanical um, Patchwork Kit, and I love that kit. I want to go back and work with that one again soon. Um, love this little journal card. Isn't that beautiful? And then here I've just done an, an extra little notepad that flips up, and then here's a little tag tucked in there. And then this flips open so that you can do a little bit of journaling here on that. This is one of the big tags from the kit. I love those. God, the images are just, the colors, the images, it's just, it's it takes you away. It's, <clears throat> it's a kit that you can just daydream um, with. Now this was part of the patchwork botanical, but doesn't that coordinate beautifully with it. So this is the great thing about these kits. Um, I think they they really work well with one another. <clears throat> another um, pocket here with a bit of um, burlap stitch behind. And this is another one. I love that. That's what I've taken on the cover and I cut that out and stitched it because it's such a beautiful little um, poem there. Some um, Edith Holden book page. Here I've got another flip out. <clears throat> this journal, gosh, it should last a long time. And I even thought this is this could actually be used as a wedding guest book if you are doing a woodland themed wedding. How beautiful would this be? Uh, this is an altered. <clears throat> paper clip. I've just done some various tags. And this is the center of the signature. Another tag from the kit. And then this is, um, I've made this with envelopes. You guys have seen me do that in the past. And then I've just added a couple of um, uh, scrapbook paper on um, journal cards that you can add some photos to or something. Look at those images. Beautiful. And then here I've just done another little tag that's tucked there. Um, yeah, I couldn't add any more to this, honestly, guys. <clears throat> I've put several fabric collaged pockets in this journal. And that is the image from the front. Beautiful. And then here I've just created another little um, journaling card. And these are just various things from my own stash. This is a little envelope you can add something to. Another one of the pockets that comes in the kit. Love that page. Oh, I love this one. Um, this is another one of the window <coughs> envelopes. And what I did here <coughs> is you can flip it up, and then I've added one of the, this is one of the tags that comes in the kit. So that's tucked away in there. And then on this, I've just made... Sorry about that, guys. Um, so anyways, inside that I've created a, just a little journaling card with a tab there. And then I did some um, <coughs> collaging here with a little more burlap. So I, I love how that's come out. Um, there is one of the avocado <coughs> skin di uh, dyed papers in each of the signatures. Here is another little tag I made. This is one of the pockets. 
<clears throat> and then just a little tiny envelope I made with, oh gosh, I, I was afraid that might be fiddly. I may have to rethink that. Anyways, I just put a little ticket down in there. I may have to uh, change that. And then I put a little um, tab there. So that's tucked in there. Some lined paper comes with the kit. So that's really, really nice. <clears throat> so that's the end of the first signature. <laughs> and here we go. Another um, crocheted flower. And then various tags and just things I've, you know, with trying to use up my stash, I've just created and another little tag here. <clears throat> this is another pocket from the kit. <clears throat> this is a journal card. I've just attached that to the um, music sheet page. And again, this is from the um, Patchwork Botanical Kit, but it just, everything just coordinated so nicely. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, my voice, I should have got some water. Um, this is some ex extra uh, scraps that I had, and I've put one of the journaling cards on there and then stitched it together. So you've got another little notebook there. That's just been tucked into that pocket. Here I've made a little tuck spot. This is one of the tags from the kit. This is just a stamped journal card, another journal card from the kit, and this little tag comes with it. I love that image on that. That's beautiful. Uh, here's another altered um, paper clip and another one of these. Po it's like a po floral postcard, and I, I got a whole stack of them. Um, okay, so let me just put this out there. No pressure or anything, but if anybody is listening, <laughs> I love these. Love them, love them, love them. In, this, in the kit, you get a sheet that's got um, several of these little words. <clears throat> and there's, that's a different, that's off of a little tag. I've cut that out. But if anybody's listening, Oh, there is such a need <clears throat> for us crafters to have a sheet of nothing but the vintage type words. So, hint, hint, anybody that's listening that's um, super, super creative, love that. We need it. There, There's a real lack of um, being able to purchase those. <laughs> and there's another journal card from the kit. This is just a stamped. This is one of my stamps I've got. So yeah, anybody that's listening, please, 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 we would love to have a sheet of um, just words that we can cut out and use because um, I love to add those throughout uh, journals and on pockets. I, I just think it adds so much if you've got something that you can cut out and put there. And I love the fact um, Andrea's done the small ones. Those are absolutely gorgeous. Another uh, page from the kit. Beautiful. Uh, here I've done a little, just a tuck spot, and a little stamped tag. This flips out, and then you've also got this little pocket space here. And this is one of the journal cards from the kit. And here's another pocket from the kit, and this is just an image from something else that I had, and I've been covering, I told you guys, these um, postcards. I just got a massive lot of them, and I'd say 90% of them were junk. Um, so I, they're nice and sturdy, so I've just been covering it with various things, and that kind of went with this, I think. So another Edith Holden book page. Okay, we are into the third signature. Some more of that lined paper. I love how that color's come out on that. 
that was, uh, I think, my second batch of the avocado skin, and the color was just beautiful for some reason on that one. Um, here is some of my piano, that piano roll uh, paper. So I've doubled it up, stitched it, and added that as a, a page you could do some writing on. Here's another little handmade tag. Another pocket that is, comes in the kit. And there's another journal card, Poppy. I love that. Beautiful papers. Here, uh, just a little tuck spot with another stamped tag. Like I said, I started, it just just getting so big, guys. I had to start scaling back on, I just couldn't get any more in here. <laughs> Otherwise, it, the thing would just been ridiculously huge. I'm not sure that I'll be doing many of the five signature anymore. Here I've made another little tag with some vintage lace. And this is a little um, payroll envelope that I've altered, adding some of the images from the kit on the front and the back. And then I also made a tuck spot here with another tag. So that's tucked in there and that flips out. Um, I know for sure I've got one more coming up that it's going to be for um, Tracy's design team, but I'll be honest, I don't think I'll be doing many more of the five signature. They're, they're just, oh boy, they're time consuming. This is one of my music page pockets. There's nothing in there, but uh, plenty of room for you to add more things. And this is, I was messing around one day and just made some little floating pockets, and then this is one of the images our journal cards that comes from the kit. That's so pretty. So that's been tucked in and clipped there, but I really want to show you guys this. Um, this is totally inspired from Danny at um, Junk Journals and More. She uses a lot of this glass glitter. And uh, I bought some about two months ago. <laughs> and I've never even opened it. How bad is that? But that's the life of a crafter. We have to have it. We never use it. So this time... I got it out, and I used it, and I love it. I hope it's showing up on there. I think that's come out so pretty. So that has got these two things. This is another one of those postcard, floral postcards. But I love that um, glass glitter on there. It's so pretty. Here is another um, collaged fabric pocket, and then I've done one of the little matchbook um, notebook, uh, notepads in there. So, I mean, there's just so much writing space in this journal, it's unreal, and <laughs> if it's too bulky, you know, it's easy enough to pull these items out and use them in other, kit, uh, other journals. So that's the good thing. But I try to include a lot of ephemera in my journals, and this kit has just got so much. Beautiful. I love this tag. I don't know why, but that against the grid paper really makes that image stand out. And this is that piano roll paper. That is such a nice addition. And I, I know I've been promising to get that in the shop, but I just haven't had time, guys. But I will try to get that listed very soon. I just wanted to add some items to it and make it as a bundle. Uh, okay, signature four. Got to get a move on here. Um, this pocket got another crocheted flower. And then this is a flip, trifold flip out, and each of these has got a different journal card from the kit. I just love those little flower girls. They are gorgeous. So there you go. That's what it looks like open. And here's another little tag. This is some of the tickets from the kit. Got those tucked in there. And then this is another one of those altered postcards that I've been making. And this 
image came from the, the kit. Here's another flip out with another um, Oh, gosh, that glue. Must have seeped through. Sorry. Let me get this out. This is, um, yeah, I'll have to work with that because I wanted to show you guys that's a, um, I've got some fabric stitched to that. Boy, that really did seep through that uh, fabric tack on that one. I usually am very careful about not getting this stuff in there when it's when I think it can still happen. So there, I've done some stitching with some fabric on that one. I'll have to sort that out. I'll come back to that. Oh, I love that page. Beautiful. Oh, and this was really dark. Um, I think this must have been some of my coffee dyed paper that I had left over because that's come out really, really dark. But it's pretty against this. Again, this is a page from um, the Botanical Patchwork. But how beautifully they coordinate, um, you know, those two kits. Here is another um, altered paper clip. And there is one of those words I was telling you guys. I love them. Beautiful, beautiful. And another postcard for you. This is a envelope that I've added with another altered postcard, the flowers. And I made this this morning, guys, and I'm going to tuck this in here. Um, this was um, part of my 100-day project, and it's an um, Edith Holden envelope. So you've got the image from this Flower Girl kit. So I thought that would be perfect just to add in. So I'm just going to tuck that on the back of that one. That's a good spot for it. And there's nothing in it, but um, nice place to add something. Love that page. And this was um, created a couple days ago for that same challenge. So I've tucked that in there. We're getting there, guys. Almost to the last one. <coughs> Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> Here is another um, collaged fabric pocket. really like how that's come out. And another flower postcard. Love these, and this is a <laughs> this is a rare decoupage tag because you guys know by now. Oh, I, I try to avoid decoupaging whenever possible. I don't know why I say that because it's it's not that big of a chore, but you know how some things just aren't your thing, and that's clearly not mine. Here's another altered um, paper clip with a journal card from the kit. And there's another one of those words. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, I was, I think when that page printed out, that was, I was the most excited about that one because I was like, oh my God, I got to print out about 15 of those pages just to get those, those words. I love them. Love that page. It's the center signature. How beautiful is that? And here is another. Um, this is one of the window um, pockets. And then I made another pocket within it. And then I did <clears throat> this little tag. And then the dimensional um, butterfly. I love doing those. So that's been tucked in there. And then you 
can see her on this side. Some more avocado tied paper. And love that pocket and card a uh, tag. I think that's so pretty. Another doily. Uh, this is just some extra paper, tea dyed paper that I had. And then this is one of the tags from the kit. And then a next, another little tag. Another crocheted flower. Paper is beautiful. Okay, guys, and then this is the back. Um, did a little tuck spot here with another flower. This little tag, which is stuck, <laughs> that comes in the kit. And then I love this. This is one of the tall envelopes, so you can do some journaling back here. You could add something down there. Beautiful. Another big journal card from the kit, and another decoupage tag. Boy, I must have been a roll on that uh, that day with the decoupaging. I try to do it. when I do get it out. I try to do a batch of them because it, it's just easier that way. So there you go, guys. That's the back of the journal. If I haven't shown that, um, and that's a massive one. So I will leave it there, guys, and get this uploaded. So this is going to be for sale in my shop. I'll put the link below. Remember, check out Janet's channel. And then Artie May's kit link will be included as well. So you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.